What's up, hustlers? Today I'm going to show you how to detect emotions and faces using Google's Vision API. So it ranges from basically three emotions that it's able to detect, and that's joy, surprise, and anger. So, you know, there's tons of emotions in people's faces, but the, those are the three main ones that are most apparent and that can be detected in images. So the first thing you want to do is you want to be in Google Cloud, of course, and make sure that you have the Vision API uh, enabled. So I'm going to show you that mine is, whoops, hold on. Oh, it, there you go. It's enabled right here because it says disable API. So you want to make sure it's enabled. The second thing you want to do is make sure you have a service account uh, for your account. Um, I already made a video on this, which I'll link to uh, in the description. Now let's just go ahead and get to coding. So, all right. So let's create, actually we need to import some libraries first and I'm going to save this file. So facial emotion, we're going to say, give me face stuff high. Okay. We're going to need IO. We're going to need, um, Google vision, of course. So we say google.cloud import vision. Uh, and I believe those are all the libraries we need. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So now let's create a function. So give me face and it's gonna take a path object, right? And then you can make like params. We're not gonna do that right now though. So um, I guess we need images. <laughs> so let me, let me pull up a new browser and we're gonna do this live. We're just gonna take three images. So I'm gonna go to images.google.com. Um, I'm gonna say happy, kit okay perfect so we'll save this one i'm gonna put it in i'll put it in the same folder so facial emotion so this is going to be happy kid and the next one we're gonna say um sad man This guy looks pretty sad. Uh, wait, I don't like that the, there's this thing here. So, hold on. Save image. Google, ugh. I hate when Google does that. Um, all right, let's find another one. This guy looks pretty sad. <laughs> Just looking for sad people. Okay, sad man. Okay, and then we're gonna look for surprised woman. Uh, yeah, she looks pretty shocked. Ah, but I don't like this little banner at the bottom. It might screw up. You know what? It's a good test. Let's let's see if it does it. Oh my god. So this little. It doesn't let me save it as, oh wait, I could probably just do this. So surprised woman, woman dot JPEG. Let me open that up and make sure it opens. No, see, ah, that's annoying. Um, here we go, use this one. Nice woman. Okay. So here we got this. We got this. And we got this. So we're going to be using these three images in the tutorial. Okay. Now let's go back to coding. All right, so now let's open up a client instance of the Vision API. So client equals vision dot image annotator uh, client, close bracket, 
And the first one, well, it's a function, so it doesn't matter. So with io.open uh, path, we want it to read as binary as image file content equals image file dot read. And by the way, you can find all these tutorials on Google Cloud's documentation. So if ever, you know, you don't like my voice, just hop over there and you can check it out. So image equals vision dot types dot image content equals content. Okay, now we need to have, uh, build a response object. Response equals client, and then do the face detect, so face detection. So this is the, um, this is the actual like, method that will detect the faces. So detection image equals image. All right, so that's the image that we set up here. All right, and the content we had. So, okay, so we've got that. And now to get the faces, it's a method within the response. So we'll say faces equals response dot face annotations. Okay, and then there are some like likelihoods so that uh, Google uses. Uh, it, it ranges from unknown, very likely, or very unlikely to unlikely, possible, likely, and very likely. Uh, th this will make sense in a second, but for now, just type this. Likelihood name equals on, you know, I am kind of lazy and I have it on another screen, so I'm going to paste this. Okay, so this is what you want to do. Okay, and um, now we're gonna actually uh, annotate the faces. So you're gonna say for face and faces, print anger, and then this thing to format what's in the string, dot format, likelihood name, um, face dot anger likelihood print joy dot format and then the same thing but the likelihood of joy joy and then the next one is surprise. So, so, wait, hang on. Forgot that Sublime Text can do something special here. Surprise. Okay. And then you got to build the vertices to actually, you know, display onto the images. So we're going to say vertices equals um, okay. I'm going to say it's going to be a tuple. Ah, right. So we do it this way, this way, and then yeah, and then we format here. Okay. Oops. Okay. Then we format the string vertex.x, vertex.y, right? For vertex in face dot bounding, bounding poly, yeah, bounding poly dot vertices. Okay, and then print face bounds dot format dot join vertices. Okay, so we should be set right now. Let's see. So we're gonna get into a Python instance now. 
IPython, because I prefer that. And then I'm going to say from gimme face import gimme face. And then I'm going to say gimme face happy kid dot JPEG. There we go, see? Very likely. And you can overlay these on top of the images as well. So like the facial bounds and all that stuff, um, which I will show you guys in another video. But essentially, this is how you can detect, um, you know, surprise and joy and stuff in people's faces. So why don't we do that with another, with the other one? So like, I think the other one, wait, hold on. Surprised woman. So we'll say surprised woman dot JPEG surprised woman dot JPEG. She's unlikely to be angry. She's very unlikely to be happy, but she's very likely to be surprised. Good stuff. So now the last one was the um, sad man. So sadman.jpg. Sad man. Oh shoot! My bad. They they they, don't, they can't detect sadness. Just anger. <laughs> so we should have picked an angry person. So just to make this complete, we got to do it. So we're going to say angry man. Uh, this guy looks pretty angry. This guy looks the angriest. <laughs> okay, let's use this guy. So we're going to say angry man. Touch the peg. There we go. And as you can see, it's working as expected. So that's how you do that. And as you can see, it only took about just 32 lines of code. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how to actually, you know, create these bounds on the images. So like, for example, it'll do something like making the vertices onto here just to show you why he's angry and stuff like that. And the, it'll also do some like, you'll see some lines here. Um, and actually Google Cloud has examples right here. So it'll do something like this, right? So it'll detect the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And that's basically how Vision API works to detect faces. First it finds the face, and then it finds the boundaries where the nose, the eyes, and the mouth are. And then it makes a calculation and it's a probability model. And that's that. Hopefully you guys found that useful and see you guys in the next one.